Hey, Mindfulness Maya here. And Carlton. Being mindful doesn't just happen when you think about your emotions and what's going on on the inside, but it also deals with what you put out into the world. How you treat others and what you say can have a big effect even when you don't realize it. It's sort of like what we said in our video about dealing with anger. When we're feeling big emotions or having lots of thoughts in our heads, it can seem easier to say things that aren't nice or things that we don't really mean. It's really important during these times and any time that we really think about what we say before we say it. Think about whether what you're saying is going to be helpful and kind. This doesn't mean that you can't tell the truth or be honest. Those are things that you should try to do too, all the time. But the truth doesn't have to be said in a mean or harsh way. You can still be honest without trying to hurt people or upset them. Our actions are very important, but so are our words. What we say can have just as big of an effect as what we do. That's why we try so hard to think about how we say things and how they can come off to others. Many people think that hitting someone or doing something physically harmful is the only thing that we need to avoid. When really, we also need to work on not saying things that could be harmful to someone's emotions too. Remember, words can hurt. And that goes for you too. Try to work on saying kind things to others, but be sure to say them to yourself too. You deserve kindness just like everyone else does. When we're frustrated or disappointed in ourselves, we tend to say things that are unkind. Even if you don't really think you mean it, or it happens without realizing it, insulting yourself or saying things that aren't kind to you can really affect you. Giving yourself kindness, patience, and understanding is just as important, if not more, than putting those things out into the world. All right, that's all for today, but I'd really love it if you take a moment to breathe with us. Today, we'll be doing the cookie breath. Get in a comfortable spot and close your eyes or leave them open if you'd like. Then think of your favorite warm food and put your hand out like you're holding it. Try to imagine that you're blowing on the food and trying to cool it down. You can imagine any warm food that you like while doing this exercise. I'd like to imagine that I'm holding a warm chocolate chip cookie, but whatever works for you is just fine. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Breathe in through your nose and smell your food. Then breathe out through your mouth to cool it off. Breathe in and smell the food. Then breathe out to cool it off. Last one. Let's make it count. Breathe in deeply through your nose and imagine the smell of your favorite food. Then breathe out through your mouth like you're cooling it off. Thank you all for breathing with us, and we'll see you all again very soon. Until then, remember to stay calm and stay mindful.